The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of well a rainy and cooling down Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. We've got U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Uh, not by much. The ES mini is down about three points. The Nasdaq's off 27. The Dow's down 13. And the E mini Russell is off uh, two points. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag. You had the Nikkei up 72 points. That's been on a tear. You had the Hang Seng off 363. The Shanghai down 30 points. Over in Europe this morning, you got the DAX. It's trading the upside. The DAX is directly correlated to the NASDAQ 100. For reasons I can't tell you, but I do know that it is directly correlated. So this is trading the upside right now. you got the FTSE that is on fire. That wants higher price out there. So keep an eye on the DAX. Uh, why? Because it could have an impact on the U.S. indices out there. You've got gold trained down nine bucks. Silver's off 17 cents. Copper's down a nickel. Palladium is off uh, 13 bucks and platinum's down seven bucks. That's because we've got a U.S. dollar index that is on the move. It's up 249 ticks or so as we speak right now. It's got the potential to form an A to B equals CD to the upside out there. Uh, if we take a look at the 30-year Treasury printed out at 119.27, that's up nearly one full point, and uh, 10 ticks for the 10-year uh, note. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. You do have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top inside the ES Mini, but price has really got to close below 52.57.25 today in order to suggest that it's got some mojo to the downside. In the case of the spot volatility, it's trading below its 50-day exponential moving average, which is a bullish signal for the ES Mini. But we've got that top out there, and the uh, spot VIX is trading a bit higher, so we'll be on the lookout. The NQ also forming a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Yesterday was those two bearish shooting star candles that did the trick. A close above yesterday's highs, though, negates those signals altogether. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, an A to B equals CD pattern would get triggered with a close above 103.81 today. It does have resistance at 104.19. Price close above 104.19. The dollar's on its move. And that move will take us to about 105.20. That would then create a problem for the TD9 count top that is inside of Goldilocks. Could get us back to 2109. Silver consolidating with inside his profile. Support at 2436. Uh, you've got to sell the D-point pattern inside of Lightspeed Crude. Price consolidating with inside his profile. Support down at 79.11. Resistance up at 83.12. And the 30-year Treasury looks like it wants to go target that 120.23 to 121.04 level. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. And uh, please have a, a fabulous and a fantastic week. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday at 11 a.m. sharp. Take care, folks.